Happy Blessing Day. Monday is Blessing Day. I want to talk to you today about the easy way to get a miracle. There's a lot of different ways to get a miracle, but I want to talk to you today about the easy way to do it. Amen. On Blessing Day today, say this with me, the rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart and getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Everything works out for me. God will provide. I'm a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. The best prayer partner in the whole world. Amen. Because we get prayers answered. Amen. Somebody mentioned that yesterday. And, you know, that, that we'll put ourselves out there and tell people that we can get prayers answered. And I said, it's because I believe what God's word says. I just believe what God's word says. It's that simple. And I have faith in the name of Jesus. Those two things. Glory to God. God wants three things from us. He wants us to love him, love each other, and believe what he said. If you'll do those three things, the sky's the limit, folks. You have no impossibilities. Glory to God. Go to our website, increasenow.com. At the end of this video will be a button that you can push. Push that button and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. When you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you make us more visible on YouTube. Amen. The more subscribers we have, the more visibility we have. And the more visibility we have, the more people watch these videos. And the more people that watch these videos, the stronger the Christian nation gets. Amen. The stronger we get. Because you get a blessed group of people and you've got a strong group of people. Amen. I am determined that all of you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. That's why we have Blessing Day. Amen. That's why we bless the offerings on Friday. because And we bless the offerings all week. And there'll be a lot of offerings today. There always is on Blessing Day. And when we bless the offerings, then we are empowering you for success. Glory to God. This is what happened to Jacob. Read the story about Jacob. He was blessed, empowered for success, and became a billionaire, even though his uncle cheated him, lied to him, stole from him, deceived him, gave him the wrong wife, and lowered his wages 10 times. Nothing else matters but the blessing. Our message today is from this book, How to Get a Miracle. Everybody who does offerings today is going to get one of these books. Amen on Blessing Day. I want to send you one of these books today on Blessing Day. So everybody who does their offering and donation today will get one of these books. Glory to God. All you have to do is just text me your name and uh, name and address. I have got a whole pile of books over there. And I got a pile of names that I went through last night and got them ready for our staff to uh, get the uh, process them this morning. So when they come in, which they're not in yet, but when they get here, we're going to get these books ready. They're going to get the books ready. Amen. I want to talk to you today about the easy way to get a miracle. And we find this here uh, in this chapter on this book called Faith for Miracles. Well, I many of you know that miracles take faith. God doesn't just do miracles. Contrary to popular opinion, and contrary to what people think, uh, you know, people say, well, I think he just does them. Well, you think wrong. Huh? How many of you know there's a right way to think and a wrong way to think? Everybody that thinks doesn't think right. A lot of people think wrong. When you think it's okay to do bad things, you're thinking wrong, folks. Huh? And when you think that God just looks down and says, you know what? I'm going to do something special for that person today. 
And I see these on Facebook and things like that. Everybody says, God's going to do something special for you today. Well, not without faith, he isn't. Huh? The truth of the matter is, God doesn't do anything for anybody without somebody believing for it. Because there is a law of faith. And if he did do something for somebody, apart from faith, he would be breaking that law. And if he broke that law, he broke that law, it wouldn't be a law anymore. And God will never break the law. How many of you know there are scriptural laws, folks? What I call spiritual laws. And everybody and everything, a thing, I mean thing, these furry little stinking little demons and curses are all subject to spiritual laws. They're all subject to spiritual laws. You learn, I, I need to start doing, uh, I need to do a message on spiritual laws. I think I will do that. Spiritual laws. I'm going to do something maybe tomorrow on spiritual laws because it's so important to understand these spiritual laws. And one law is God does nothing for anybody without faith. So, the exclusive secret to getting miracles is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 17. These miracles, that word signs in Mark 16, 17, that word signs means miracles. These miracles shall follow those people who have faith in my name. Now, that's what Jesus said. That tells you right there what causes miracles. Faith in the name of Jesus. <clears throat> the thing that sets me apart from everybody else, and people always say, Oh, Pastor Jim, you're a great man of faith. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's nice to hear. That's wonderful. But you have to think about what is my faith in? Now, we talked about that last Wednesday evening at our fellowship because we're studying out of the faith book. Faith has to be directed at something based on something. Let me say that again. Faith always has to be directed at something. You have to have faith in something based on something. And it always, faith is always based on something somebody said. On something somebody said. Amen. And my faith in the name of Jesus is based on what he said. That's, that's what I base it on. It's based on the fact that he said, those people who have faith in my name, the key to everything is found in Mark chapter 16, verse 17. That is the key to salvation. That is the key to healing, the key to financial increase, the key to uh, spiritual healing, emotional healing. All, everything is found there. Now, on page 43 of your miracle book, which some of you are going to get because you do your offerings today, it talks about faith in the, in the ability of Jesus. <clears throat> now, the way people got miracles 2,000 years ago was these people that you read about in the Gospels, they didn't have faith for a miracle themselves. But what they had was faith in the ability of Jesus to perform a miracle. I'm going to say that again because I want you to get a hold of this. This is very, if you don't get nothing else out of this vehicle, out of this video today, get a hold of this. 2,000 years ago, people did not have faith for miracles, but they had faith in the ability of of Jesus to perform one for them. The woman with the issue of blood, she said, if I can just get to him, if I can get a hold of his garment, I will be healed. She, and, and she needed a miracle. 
So she was believing for a miracle if she could get a hold of the or a garment of Jesus. Jairus said to the Lord, he says, if you will come and lay your hands on my little daughter, she will live and not die. He had faith in the ability of Jesus to lay his hand on his little girl and heal her. And that's exactly what happened in both cases. The centurion had faith in the words of Jesus. He said, speak the word only and my servant who is dying will be healed. And Jesus said, go on home. He's healed. He spoke the word only. And Jesus called that great faith. All of these people had faith in the ability of Jesus. He asked the two blind men, he said, do you believe I'm able to do this? Do you believe I can do this? He, they said, yes, Lord. He said, be it unto you according to your faith. According to your faith, their faith was in his ability. The uh, leper came to Jesus. He said, if you want to, you can make me whole. Now, he had faith in the ability of Jesus to do a miracle. He didn't know if Jesus would do it or not. He didn't know if Jesus wanted to do it or not. Because lepers were people that nobody went near. But Jesus said, I do want to. And he touched a leper. Nobody wants to touch a leper. Except the Lord Jesus. He did. Because he had compassion on him. The Bible tells us. Glory to God. The easy way to get it. Now, now Jesus is gone now. He's not going to touch you now. He's not going to come down and touch you. Now, I know people say that happened and everything. I'm not, I don't dispute anything anybody says. But I'm telling you what. The Bible says, do not try to call him down. Do not try to call him up, it tells us in Romans chapter 10. So Jesus, I can safely say, is not going to touch you. You are not going to get a hold of his garment. He's not going to speak the word over you right now. He's gone, but he gave us his name to use so that we can do this. Now, the easy way to get a miracle, if you don't have faith for the miracle yourself, is find somebody who does. And there are people out there who can do a miracle. There's, there's some out there. Amen? You see some of them on TV. There's a few of them on TV. There's a few of them on YouTube. You can find them. These people, some of these people can actually do a miracle. They can perform miracles. God always does miracles through people. Find one who can do it. If you can't find anybody else, call me. The difference, I'm not, I tell people this. I'm not the only one who can do what I do. But I am probably the only one who can do this who is available to you. These other people, you can't get a hold of them on the phone. They're not going to speak over you. They're, you can't go to their church and have them touch you. Amen? You, you, you try to get near them and, and, and the, the bodyguards will pull you back. Amen? Amen? But people can get a hold of me. I answer the phone. My phone rings every day from 9 o'clock in the morning till midnight. Because I love to get miracles for people. The easy way to get a miracle. If you need a financial miracle. If you need a healing miracle. If you need emotional healing. You call me. We will get you done. Because we can do miracles. And I can do them over the phone. Just as easy as I can do them in person. That's the easy way to get a miracle. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Do your offerings and donations today. You get one of these books. I'll put it in the mail for you. We'll get it right out to you. Amen. Also, call today. Make sure if you've done your offerings and donations or, or you just want to be blessed, call me today and I will speak the blessing over you. Because today is Blessing Monday. I'm determined you're going to live a curse-free, blessed life.